What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Barmine Tech and today we are building the best home lab server rack solution. So as you can see right here, I have my Kanuku 10 inch server rack and I already built it out. I have uh, my two mini servers, I have a switch, I have some cables going through that we made from the last video. This is gonna be the best home lab solution you're gonna find. Uh, instead of having all of your mini servers or anything you might have, all your equipment spread across your table, your desk, whatever you might use, you can put everything in here. You can print up 3D printed rack mounts if you have a printer or if you know somebody who does. And you can mount everything in the chassis and keep everything in one spot instead of spreading it all over or figuring out how to stack it nicely or whatever it might be. So today we're gonna build one of these out. It's gonna look just like this when we're all done. And uh, let's get right into it. So to start, when you open up the server out of the box, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna come in a couple boxes. You open it up, you get it out, make sure it looks good. But it's a very nice server, as you can see, at the front door. It has the lock, and then it comes up the handle, so you can open it up very nicely. The sides come off, and they're locked. So if you want to keep them open or locked, you can. They open up so you can work with them. The back is set up so you can mount it on a wall, and it also has an access panel to feed your cables out of. Very nice. And then you also have it on the top, so you can do the same thing. It has a fan port. So the Bottom. The bottom of this has another access panel so you can feed cables out that way. So very nice and uh, we're going to build this out. So let's get started. So to start, we're going to open it up and we're going to come inside. So this is the bag. <laughs> this is the bag of goodies you get that comes with your server rack. It has a ton of different hardware in it. You're gonna have cage nuts and screws. You're gonna have leg standoffs. And then you're gonna have more screws. Not really sure what those are for. And then you have, I believe these are for the mounting into the wall. They look like mollies to me. I'm not mounting mine into the wall, so I'm not using these. I'm not sure how good they are. They're probably pretty good, but I'm not gonna mount mine into the wall. It's just gonna sit on my desk. So. These are cage nuts. Uh, it might be a little tricky to see, but this is what we actually use to rack up the equipment. And this is what we're gonna put onto the post so we could actually get the ears to be held in place when we screw the equipment in. So they have little tabs on the edges and they squeeze in and that's how we mount them up. So as you can see, I actually already mounted up the mini server. This is the Barmine Tech mini server that we run all our projects off on the channel. This ran the Plex server, the Jellyfin server, all the Docker machines, the NAS and countless more projects that you've seen on this channel. And if you haven't, go back and watch some of the videos. They're pretty good, I think. But I already mounted that one up, so now I'm gonna mount up the ears for the neck gear switches. So I'm gonna put these in. So I found out where I wanna mount my stuff and I'm gonna put these in. So they're super simple to go in. You're gonna make sure you find your tack mark that you want to. So the posts are actually labeled, so you can try to line stuff up. But it's super simple. You're just gonna come in from the back and you're just gonna kinda tuck it in and there's little tabs and you're gonna have it grab and then you could use your finger and just kind of push it in and now it's in and I know it's probably tricky to see because my head is in the way and probably my arm but we're gonna line it up and we're gonna make sure so I'm gonna drop down one more space and uh, we're gonna do the same thing again so we're just gonna kind of push it in so it grabs the one side of the post and we're just gonna kind of push in with our finger And after that, now your post will be in, I mean your cage nuts will be in. So now you can start to match your ears up and screw stuff in. So I'm gonna finish up the other side, I'm gonna get the ears on and then we'll be right back. So as you can see, I put the ears in for the switch. It's uh, not the prettiest, but it's in there. It's very firm, <laughs> it's very sturdy and I have no worries about it. Uh, this is the neck gear switch I'm gonna be mounted in. I actually got this on e uh, Amazon. It was a great deal. I think I got this for 30 bucks. It's an eight port switch. It's managed and it has a ton of features to it. If I could find the link, I'll throw it in the description so you can get one too. It's a nice eight port switch. And uh, I think this is gonna be super useful for this. I also have another one that I might be putting in, but to put it in, it's super simple. We just slide it in and uh, it might be a little rough just because I made this, but there we go. I caught an edge for a minute. I just fed my switch in, so now it's sitting in place, and uh, 
The rack kit is pretty nice because I actually have a little like uh, bottom shelf for it. You can't see it, but the, the switch is in now. So next we're gonna work on getting the rest of the equipment in and then we're gonna cable things up so the switches will power the servers. I'm gonna get my other server in there eventually and we're getting this all going and set up. So now that everything's racked, I actually started to cut up some cable. I spliced some cable the other day and using that video I made last week, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm gonna show you super easy methods to make cable and make sure it works using a tester and using a crimper and all that good stuff. So I actually made some cable. I already plugged it into the back of the mini servers because it's a, it's a little bit of a tight reach. And I actually have all the power cables already coming out. I know I said I was gonna use a surge protector inside and then just run it out, but it's not gonna reach and I don't wanna use extension cords to extend it. So I'm actually gonna run all the power cables from the devices inside. I'm gonna run them out and then I'm gonna tuck them into the UPS somehow that way. Uh, well, I'm gonna figure that out. So I already made the cables. I plugged them into the back of the servers. I racked up the two mini servers. I racked up the switch. Now we just need to cable it. I'm trying to plug those in. And my switch is a little loose, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put that in switch port two. Uh, a little tricky, so I'm sideways. But now that's in. And then you can see I left switch port one open, and that's because that's gonna be my link back to my router. So I made another probably four foot cable so I could stretch it out of the back of my rack and put it in line. So that's gonna be that. So now this is going to be my home lab server rack. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a 10 server. There's a ton of parts for it that you can print up on Thingiverse if you have a printer. There's also parts on Amazon. You probably find them on eBay and other websites. They make uh, pre-manufactured like metal parts. I saw there were shelves, there's fan kits, there's a whole bunch of good stuff. I wasn't really interested in all that stuff at the moment. I might need some in the future. I know I only have a few pieces of equipment in the server at the moment, but it's gonna grow. I really like using these small form factor PCs. These mini ones work really good. Especially if you find one with good hardware, they can run a lot of good things. So I might be moving to decommission more of my bigger server and put them onto this little one using these mini PCs in the future. But right now I have my docking machine and the bar my tech server. So make sure if you haven't seen any of the bar my tech videos, go back and check them out. This is the server that runs them all. So it's a, it's a good one to see. And it's a super simple server. I bought both of these for about 50 bucks. The switch was about 30. I think this case was about 130. And then just tools and supplies. So really we just built the perfect budget rack solution for about $150, I'll say. If we want to really round it up, this whole home lab server is let's say under $250. So under $250, we have a whole home web server. Everything we need to start off our home web. A little more than start it off, but it's going to uh, do exactly what we need. It has the equipment and we get to practice all the skills, making cable, rack mounts, and doing all different things. So this was the best project. So if you have the space and you're looking for a new project and a new solution to store all your projects, Check out this case. Uh, I don't work with this, this brand. I wish I did. I would love to if they want to in the future. But um, this was a perfect case. Like I said, Nova Spirit told me about this months ago. And since he told me about it, I've been wanting one. So I ended up getting one finally, and here we are. I hope you guys liked the video. I think it's a good one. This is a great solution to implement into your home web. So I hope you build one too. I'll see you in the next video. Please drop a like and subscribe. It's really helping the channel grow. And I also made a Discord server, so there'll be a link below for the Discord server information. You can join, we can talk about either Docker stuff or Home Lab stuff, or we'll have, just have a general chat. So join up to the Discord server so we can keep the uh, community growing, and I'll see you in the next video.